Okay, there's a big sky out there. Can you see it? After piling our one too many bags into this truck, we piled in and started our trek to Big Sky. The drive takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and it just depends on traffic and the weather at the time. If you don't have a ride, there's a couple shuttles that you can grab that will also get you to Big Sky. Time to put these on. First day on the slopes, here we go. Time to go skiing. Oh, you excited, John? Yep, can't wait. <laughs> Apparently I've been holding up everyone. Whoops. You ready, babe? I'm right. I just want to take this moment to point out that I beat boys back to the clubhouse by like a landslide. Ooh, that was a workout though. Oh, oh here comes one of them, finally. Oh, I smoked you. Oh, hello. Don't mind me, I'm just moisturizing my face after being on the slopes all day. Okay, maybe now I don't look so scary. Hi friends, uh, we are in Big Sky, Montana. I've been coming here every single year for about, I wanna say five years. We have a friend who has an amazing home here so we get to come here and stay. Today was our first day on the slopes. I didn't really take my camera out too much today just because it was really cold. And and it was snowing a lot, so I didn't really want to like take my hands out of my gloves to grab my camera. Plus, like there wasn't a whole lot of visibility because it was snowing so much. But be assured, we are here for a week, so I will be definitely filming a bunch. We just got home from the slopes, got in the hot tub. I went in the shower. I did a little face mask because y'all, it is dry as a mother up here. Like I put on my Laneige sleep uh, lip mask last night, thinking that would be helpful for my lips. I woke up and my lips were so dry. It is so dry here, so. I was just doing a little face mask to help things out. Tonight we're just gonna make some dinner in, but keep watching because I'm gonna take you guys to ski in Big Sky with me, also to some amazing restaurants and shops and things that you can do when you come to Big Sky. It's really blowing up here. We've been, it changes so much every year and it's gonna keep changing. There's like a montage hotel that they're building right now. Definitely, it's definitely changing. It's trying to become like Aspen or something we don't love because we like it to be our little quiet secret. Keep on watching. I'm gonna take you around Big Sky with us and make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, try me out. You can always unsubscribe later if you decide that you don't like my content, but I'm banking on the fact that you'll probably wanna stay. Let's be friends, hit that button and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Let's go on this beautiful snowy trip. All right, see you there, bye. All right, that was not graceful. Outside, guys. Let me take you. So pretty, it's so peaceful out here. This is our room for the week. So cozy. <laughs> Look at this guy. And the bathroom, yeah. The floors are heated, it's amazing. You making mistakes? Yeah, I just gotta get them seasoned and settled before we go grill them. It's this method where you're just like, you're just getting seasoning on them? It's called the easiest method you could use, which is a salt and pepper and a little olive oil and one rest. Somebody order the sausage? Other way, other way. Somebody order two Montana ribeyes? Oh yeah. <laughs> the boys are cooking, I like it. Oh, those are fucking perfect. Nice work, honey. Smells good. Yes. The next morning. We love skiing at Big Sky because as the name implies, it is big. This resort is huge. You will not get bored easily and it's not as crowded as some other places, although it is starting to get more crowded, but it's just so gorgeous. And there's a great mixture of beginner to very advanced. So anyone can be really happy here. 
Now I'll just let you enjoy this little montage of our skiing. Beautiful day! Good job. Ah, I feel like I look so goofy with this GoPro on my head. <laughs> <laughs> then again, look at what I'm wearing. I shouldn't care. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? Are you responsive? <laughs> <laughs> Is my husband dead? Honey! <laughs> you ready for lunch? Hells yeah. For lunch, we like to stop down at the main base. They have a new spot down there called Vista Hall, which is this great little cafeteria style spot. They've got all sorts of food from pizza to ramen and burgers, salads, tacos, so anybody can be happy and find something to eat there. Hokey and Nate's ramen egg, yum. Whoa, eat that a little faster, right, don't you? <laughs> Is it good? Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> that was you. Yeah. yeah. If, if, uh, if I'm gonna be on your, uh, your site, uh -huh. I gotta monetize it, I'm sorry. Yeah? yeah. What do you wanna monetize it by? You're off the site. A couple hundred bucks if you get Oh, yeah? It's off the yeah. site. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll go for 50. Oh, We found one of the many sheds in Big Sky. This is where people either come in to smoke some ganja or maybe do something else. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Is Nate gonna hit the jump? hard skiing and now it's time for the hot tub. What's up people? I'm tired. Four days in a row skiing. Life is so rough. Wink. So we just finished skiing a little bit ago. We were in home, changed, and now Nate is getting his skis sharpened in one of the shops right here and I'm just gonna do a little exploring and shopping in this very cute Main Street area in Big Sky. So let's go check out some of these shops. It's not a very big Main Street area, but it's definitely got some cute stuff going on. This boutique liked my Instagram post earlier, so I'm gonna go check it out. This little shop was not here last year when we were last visiting. I actually really love this boutique. The items are super cute and they're very reasonably priced, which unfortunately is not easy to find in Big Sky. So cute. This restaurant right here is the Lotus Pad. And we usually eat here every year. It's closed right now as well because it's like the middle of the day. But it is so good. Such good Thai food. But make sure you get a reservation. They're always so packed. Montana Supply has been one of my favorites in this area. They have a really nice selection of women and men's clothes and they have some other really unique things that you can bring home as souvenirs or gifts for friends. It's a little big, pretty rare for my big noggin.
This pizza place is amazing as well. So yummy. Yeah, oh my god, their pizza is so good. Get a reservation there too because that's a tiny restaurant. A good rule of thumb in Big Sky is to just always make a reservation because there's not a ton of restaurants and they're always busy. It's now wine o'clock. Going for the wine bar. Hopefully it's open. Oh, they look closed. There's a new little restaurant bar place that's attached to this. Thank you. Right here. Ooh, it's crowded. This little spot is called The Rocks and it's right next door to a liquor store in case you needed to pick up any provisions for back home. But this place is really cool because all of their liquor is made and distilled in Montana, which makes it so unique and so interesting. They have $1 tasting so you can try a couple things out and they also have a really amazing food menu. Thank you. This is my favorite. If you want to try that one. This one is the smoothest. Maybe this one's a little bit smoother. I haven't had much of this one. But this is our go-to. Well, I'll try a taste of this one and a taste of the big one. Can you double that? Yeah, thanks. This is the one in Montana. And the big one in is an Innis, which is just on the other side of OC. From here. All the liquor here is distilled in Montana, which is really cool, and we're doing dollar tastings of a couple of things. I feel like I'm in communion at church. <laughs> the same ones they use. It's not fair about being a woman. This is how much I burned calorie wise skiing for the same amount of time. This guy burned this much. What the hell? <laughs> Two hours later. All right, it's our last day skiing. I'm the first one ready. Let the record show. Oh yeah, beat the boys again. And here's our skis, ready to go. Like, I would jump a cliff I was like, you know, how are you? And then I knew there was like 20 feet of powder in the low. <laughs> I would jump over the jet. second half of the day starts to roll around, my mind starts to head to the Apre Ski. One place we love to check out when it's a nice day and the sun is out is Everett's 8800, which is this gorgeous bar and restaurant that's up on the mountain. You can take the Ram Charger lift to it and we just love sitting out on the patio and enjoying a beer and just people watching. You can also come here for dinner at night, and again, you would just take the Ram Charger lift and ride it back down when you're done. So windy out here today. It's always fun to get a drink here. Unless it's windy and you feel like you're gonna blow off the patio. What's up, people? <laughs> Wiped him out. <laughs> so we're about at, back at Lone Mountain Ranch tonight, but we're doing a different thing. The other night we ate at Horned Cantle, which was amazing, but this night we're doing a sleigh ride. We have dinner. I don't even know what's happening, but I'm excited. So it's a little cold. I'm bundled up like a really cool dinner experience that you can do here in Big Skies. 
So in about 30 minutes, we're gonna get on these beautiful sleighs and we're gonna go to a cabin somewhere in the wilderness and have dinner. Super excited. Let's go. had about 35 minutes to kill before we loaded up onto the sleighs so we joined everyone else that was going for the sleigh ride dinner up on the patio and in the bar of Horn and Cantle the restaurant on Lone Mountain Ranch that we ate at previously on this trip and it was really fun they had some hot cocoa and some warm apple cider if you were chilly but of course we all opted for wine <laughs> Go get into our sleigh. Here we go. Kate is the very end. Thank you. Kate. Guess we'll get back here, yeah. Okay. Is that going Are you excited, Kat? Very excited. <laughs> On the way up, please stay seated in the sleigh the whole time. We do a couple of stops and there's no seat belts in this thing, so we don't want you to fall out. That was a joke. <laughs> Make it better. <laughs> And that stove is very unique. One of the reasons is it's one of eight ever made with the double ovens on it. And also its very original use was on a railroad car. As they were building rail coming out west, they put that on a car and they cooked on it and fed the crew that was building the rail uh, coming out west here. So the ranch located that stove after they built the cabin. They found it in Shoto, Montana. Drove up there in the middle of winter in a Datsun pickup, picked up all the pieces of the <laughs> and they hauled it up here. And that pickup's still underneath it today. <laughs> and up here we got Chef Tony. Starting off with a potato leek soup with some Irish cheddar, chives, and smoked garlic oil to go along with our rosemary popovers. And we're going to lead into a horseradish crusted prawn rib, creme fresh mashed potatoes. Smoked turkey pot pie and roasted vegetables. And then for dessert, we're going to have our uh, apple and huckleberry cobbler a la mode. To go with our cowboy <laughs> Bruce, he's going to be playing a little music for us tonight. <laughs> Hot, so you pass it around. It's like a big French Canadian No electricity in this cabin. I have So pretty. You're very pretty horses. I want to ride one. Thank you for getting us home safe. <laughs> Okay, good night.
Oh my god. I don't think I've been so full in my entire life. I ate way too much food. That was such a cool experience. We basically rode in a sleigh, a horse-drawn sleigh, to kind of the middle of nowhere. And when you're riding, you can look up and the stars are just unreal. Like, I've never seen the stars like that. They're so bright. There's so many of them. In LA, we're lucky to just see the moon, honestly. Seeing that was really, really cool. The food was amazing. I'm so full. I probably don't need to eat for like two more days. If you're ever in Big Sky, I highly recommend checking out the sleigh ride dinners at Lone Mountain Ranch. Wow. I'm gonna sleep tonight, y'all. Too much food. So, so, so good. Well, this brings us to our last day in Montana. And of course, you know, I was taking every opportunity that I could to play in the snow. We decided to stop in to this place Toast for breakfast. It's right in the little town center that I took you through earlier in the video. And this place is so cute. They have great coffee and they have all kinds of delicious toasts. Of course, I opted for the avocado toast like a true California girl. Another non-skiing but fun outdoor activity that you can do in Big Sky in the winter or the summer is hike Oslo Falls Trail. And it leads you to a waterfall at the very end in the winter time. It is frozen and beautiful and it's a pretty easy hike. It takes you about an hour to get down to the falls, maybe a little bit shorter. And just make sure you bring good shoes because it can be a little bit slippery when it's snowy. There are these sort of little chutes or slides that are sort of built into the hike somehow and we always love to slide down them. Sometimes it's a little bit more successful than other times. It worked! Are you gonna do it, babe? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I don't know the best way to do this. Just do it! No! You gotta get a wind, you gotta get some speed. You don't have any speed. You lost the uh, water bottle. That did not feel good. Mine did, but it's cold. Uh, oh, be careful. It burns over here. <laughs> we got us some snow rash or something. Somebody went down the wrong slope. You okay, Simon? Top shape. Never been better. Here we are, we're at the bottom, the frozen waterfall, and these people are gonna ice climb. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so pretty out here. There's the Gallatin River. Took a little pit stop at our friend Ian's cabin to look at this beautiful view of Castle Rock. It's pretty darn cool. And the river. Head to the airport now. Hope you guys enjoyed our big Sky vlog. If you have any questions about visiting Big Sky, you can drop them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Peace. Bye.